To describe Georgie Paolo Lemon as a Renaissance man would be an understatement. As reported by Bloomberg, the Brazilian billionaire is the 29th wealthiest person on the planet and the wealthiest person in Brazil. He has an insatiable appetite for brand purchases. A number of significant corporations, including Burger King and Tim Hortons, as well as the world's largest beer manufacturer, Heinz, are owned or financed by 3G Capital. Yes, as in the ketchup. However, he's much more than just a tycoon of the capital markets. Even without the estimated $27.5 billion in net worth he's accumulated as a result of his deeds, Lemon has enjoyed a full, rewarding, and incredibly remarkable life, to say the least. He's a Harvard graduate who began his professional career as a journalist before going on to win the Wimbledon Tennis Championship. In his spare time, he likes surfing and spearfishing, among other activities. The 78-year-old was born in the Brazilian city of Rio de Janeiro to a Swiss father who worked as a cheese salesman and a Brazilian mother who worked as a cacao merchant. When he went to college, he moved away from South America, but he didn't like his time in the United States. He later said it was a total and utter mess during his first year at Harvard. He was just 17 at the time, and he yearned for the beach and the warmth of the sun more than anything. In a speech, he stated that Boston was too frigid for him to enjoy. In his spare time, he went surfing on a 30-foot wave, which provided him with an early taste of risk. Despite his parents' insistence, Lemon persevered and graduated from Harvard a year early, having created a system for picking disciplines that were both interesting and relevant to his interests. After joining the Daily Journal do Brasil, he took on a journalistic position that didn't quite go as well as planned for him. Consequently, he acquired his schooling at the venerable Credit Suisse, which laid the groundwork for his current success. During the same year, his tennis career took off and he turned professional, winning the Swiss Nationals and competing at Wimbledon before resigning, when he realized it would be tough to break into the 10 best in the world group. Later on, Ambev was founded in 1999 as a merger of the breweries that Giorgio Paolo Lemon and two of his business partners had amassed. It was the acquisition of Ambev that marked a watershed moment in Lemon's career, not only because it served as a model for future acquisitions, but also because it was the point at which he firmly established his roots in the investing sector, as well as his innovative leadership style in the Brazilian marketplace. An investigation by Exam, a Brazilian business publication, looked back 60 years into the country's history and discovered that the people of Brazil voted for Ambev as the company they respected the most. According to Casanova, the firm changed not just the beer industry in Brazil, but also the corporate culture in the country. The management team would be required to start from the beginning each year and provide the case for all their expenditures, rather than just repeating annual budgets. Ambev and Interbrew combined in 2004 for a total of $11 billion, resulting in the formation of Ambev IB. The motto of 3G Capital, Dream Big, may be explained by his ambitions in foreign markets. His previous business colleagues assisted him in establishing the regional investment venture Bank Garantia, which he later sold. One of the authors of the book 3G, Christian Correa, claims that the Brazilian brewery Brahma in the 1980s became the perfect laboratory for their corporate strategy, which was oriented on meritocracy and compulsive cost control, among other things. Later on, 3G Capital was established in the year 1999. The method through which 3G raises funds for big buyouts distinguishes them from other venture capital firms in this regard. In contrast to the vast majority of organizations, Lemon's attention is primarily focused on a tiny number of extremely wealthy households. Lemon is in a stronger position to keep any deals under wraps since he's established contacts with the wealthy elite in the United States, Europe, and Latin America. Aside from that, despite his relative obscurity among the general public, Lemon is well known among the world's financial elite for his amazing ability to generate wealth. Three generations of the Santo Domingo and Ryman families from Colombia and Germany are among the investors in 3G. Among the members of Lemon's international dream team are fellow tennis enthusiast and world champion Roger Federer, as well as investment manager William Ackman. Although Lemon varies from its competitors in that its companies employ a buy-and-hold strategy, this provides the company with extra flexibility in terms of profit growth. Following their meeting on the Gillette Board of Directors in 2013, 3G and Berkshire Hathaway partnered together to acquire Heinz, 
the fourth largest food and beverage deal in history, marking the fourth largest food and beverage transaction ever. Buffett is a great admirer of Lemon, and he has so much confidence in him that despite owning the vast majority of the firm, 3G is the sole one in charge of Heinz & Company. In 2010, 3G paid $3.3 billion for Burger King, illustrating the efficiency of the Lemon Touch. Despite Bernardo Hees' shift from the railways to the burger business, he was trusted to lead, and it's apparent that his leadership style is a good fit for the burger business. With his first move, the new CEO fired 600 office staff and replaced 11 senior roles with the best-performing personnel from Burger King's corporate headquarters. In keeping with the company's cost-cutting strategy, the office dividers were demolished in order to create an open-plan working environment that would allow for better cooperation. In addition, by re-establishing the franchise model, 3G was able to eliminate 28,000 individuals from Burger King's payroll. Since becoming a self-made billionaire, the Brazilian business magnate has been a significant sponsor of Brazilian studies at the university level in the United States. And due to a generous contribution of $14 million from Jorge Paulo, the University of Illinois was able to create the Lemon Institute for Brazilian Studies. One of the key objectives of the Brazilian Studies Institute is to improve the overall quality of Brazilian education in order to prepare a new generation of highly successful Brazilian leaders for the future. The Brazilian entrepreneur also made a commitment of $500,000 to Columbia University's Center for Brazilian Studies, which was the largest single contribution the center has ever received. The considerable donation from Lemon is also said to have been utilized to build new and more efficient graduate and undergraduate courses on Brazilian subjects in collaboration with Brazilian universities. Jorge Paulo Lemon's life has been full of twists and turns from the beginning. The guy's risen to the top of the corporate ladder and is really self-made in every sense of the word, owing to his parents' dedication to providing him with the best education possible and his own personal resolve to succeed in his endeavors. His life serves as a bright example of how anybody can do anything they set their minds to, as long as they begin with the right frame of mind in the first place. So that's all for today's video. What's your take on the success of Jorge Paulo Lemon? What do you think of his business strategies? Comment below, let's engage. Also, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell. Lastly, click on one of these videos on the screen to watch another amazing, luxurious video. Goodbye, see ya on the other side.